I think I'll stick with the 3,000. Sticking with the three? I'd like to go for the 56, but I just don't think I'm good enough to keep in front of You've got the option of a 1,000 if you want. It's up to you. I mean, that's no crime. It really isn't. That's why it's there. It, it depends on how confident you feel, darling. Do you know what? 56. As I say, I'm only here Where one. Where did that come from? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Which one do you want to go? Go on, 56. It's going to be the same questions, whether whatever, isn't it? 56 grand it is. That's the choice. Here we go. In a speech in liberated Paris in 1944, Winston Churchill said, be on your guard because I am going to do what? A, light a cigar. B, speak French. C, tap dance. You've put speak French. I have no idea. I have no mm. idea. I just couldn't imagine him tap dancing. And he, I know he likes a cigar. Oh, he did like a cigar, didn't he? But I can't imagine him. Correct answer is... Oh, please be right, please be right. Well played. Step close home. First one on your belt. Chase has put... Goes right with speak French. Chase has comes onto the table. Here's your next question. Dutch spectacle maker Zacharias Janssen is credited with the invention of what piece of scientific equipment? A. Microscope. B. Stethoscope. C. Thermometer. You've put... Microscope. Now, I don't know, but I'd rather put that. I didn't really know, so well, I just... Yeah, but it's the only thing. If it's made spectacles, it's the only yeah. thing. Do you see what I mean? Correct answer is... Please be right. Two out of two. Step close to home. Chaser's put. Well played, Mandy. Also goes with microscope. Okay, that was in the late 16th, going into the 17th century. Wow. Now, that is clever. Because a lot of people couldn't do that now. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Didn't have to. Should have gone to Specsavers. <laughs> Here's the next question. What date, Mandy, marks the exact middle of a non-leap year? A, June the 30th, B, July the 1st, C, July the 2nd. You've put June 30th. I wouldn't know. I can't work it out quick enough. Correct answer is... July the 2nd. It's my son's birthday, and then I thought, no, it won't be. What's your son's name? Lee. Right, OK. <sighs> well, it's something you're not going to forget now, is Definitely it? Definitely not, no. Staying where you are. Yeah. Chaser has put... Goes right July the 2nd. Yeah, July the 2nd, that's a quick stable question. It's, it's the 183rd day of the year. Right, one more and we're out. Here's your question. Which army was the subject of a 2007 exhibition at the British Museum? A, the New Model Army, B, Salvation Army, C, Terracotta Army? You've put... Terracotta Army. I yes. think. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Correct answer is... Step close to home, well done. Terracotta Army's right, Chaser's put. Goes right, Terracotta Army, and reigns one behind. Here we go. Yeah, it was covered in 1974. Here's your next question. Which of these fictional US TV families featured the most children? A, the Brady Bunch. B, the Partridge Family. C, the Waltons. Oh, my goodness. You've put the Waltons. How many kids was the Brady Bunch? I've never watched it all. Did you not? No. Partridge family can rule out. Yeah. That was David Cassidy. It was only about four or five. Brady Bunch and the Waltons. It's a flip between A and C. About seven, I think it was. On the Waltons? I think. Correct answer is... Fingers crossed. Please be right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well played. <laughs> Step close to home. Walls we're in. Chaser's put. Goes wrong with a Brady Bunch. Oh, yes! <laughs> Game opens up. Game opens up. Here we go. Right. Here's your next question. Who was the first Briton to wear the leader's jersey in each of cycling's three grand tours? A, Mark Cavendish. B, David Miller. C, Sean Yates. Please press the right one. You have put David Miller. I didn't know. 
I'm going to say he's nearly smiling at me. <laughs> Correct answer is... Please, please, please be right. Oh! Step close to home, David Miller. Chaser has put. Goes right with David Miller. So he's two behind us. We're one from home. We've got two chances of getting through with 56 grand. Had you gone for the three grand, we'd be home and dry by now. Right, here's your question. Good luck, Mandy. Thank you. What was the occupation of Antoinette Perry, after whom the Tony Awards are named? A, actress. B, judge. C, teacher. You've put... Oh! Is it? <laughs> Do you know what the Tony Awards are? They're for actors and actresses, aren't they? And oh, the Oscars. Oh, the Oscars for definite. I don't know then, really. There's no point in me even trying to be <laughs> To go through with 56 grand, the correct Please. answer is...